Happy New Year, everyone. It is 2020. How crazy is that? I'm not gonna lie, I ain't gonna miss 2019 at all. Today we're gonna be recapping my favorite products from 2019. This is my best of beauty series I do every single year. So I have all of these wonderful products in front of me. Um, the babe got me some matcha, so I'm gonna be drinking my matcha. Mm -hmm. This is my first video of 2020. I know I didn't upload in like a week. I pre-filmed, so when I was away for holiday seeing my family, I did upload right before Christmas, and I have been vlogging every single day for six days now. So my next video is going to be a more vlog style. It's gonna be follow me around for a week, a week in my life. So I hope you guys are really excited about that. That's gonna be my next video. Um, but the first video of the year had to be a beauty video. So I'm just chilling today with you guys. I've literally got sweatpants on, nothing new. I usually look cuter for you, but I really wanted to just be really comfy and cozy today. So let's just chill today and talk about makeup and um, thumbs up the video if you got matcha coffee, if you're chilling and watching the video. This year was a very natural year for me as far as makeup goes. I wasn't into anything too crazy, too edgy. I did have my days where I wanted like that full fierce smoky beat, but for my skin, I really kept it very minimal this year. I went through my phase for years where it was full coverage or nothing. Even when my skin was good, I wanted full coverage. And this year, I really focused on letting my skin breathe a little bit with more natural foundations, which is so weird. Like this year, if I wanted a full coverage look, I would go to my favorite stick foundations, which I've mentioned a million times and shown. So let me show you my standout foundation. So the first one, it's from Glossier, and this isn't even a foundation. This is a skin tint. Um, I bought this this summer, and I really fell in love with it. I like to use this with a beauty blender. You can also put a few drops in your moisturizer and make your own tinted moisturizer. The coverage is very, very light. If you break out a lot, you might not like it, but you can always go with concealer afterwards. Like Even when I was breaking out, I would still use this and just spot conceal afterwards. And I love it because it feels so natural. And as the day wears on, it really mixes with the oils of your skin and it looks even more beautiful. It never looked cakey because it's so light. It didn't feel heavy on the skin. I'm the type of person, like, I love a full beat. I love full coverage foundation. But after a while, I just feel heavy. And you know that feeling of, like, you can't wait to wash your face? I never got that with this. I think it's a very underrated product. I don't see a lot of people talk about this. And I just adore it. Going into more coverage, the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. This, oh my gosh, I love it so much. The original Fenty Foundation, I loved when I first tried it. And I felt like as I kept using it, I just kind of, like, wasn't into it anymore. I don't know. I still have it. I just don't really reach for it. When they came out with this, I was so excited because I'm normal to dry. So I love anything hydrating. And this formula is so beautiful on the skin. Like it looks airbrushed. Again, it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel cakey. It's a great product when you want to cover things on your skin. So if you want something a little bit lighter feeling, but you do break out, you would definitely love this product. I love the packaging. It's really travel friendly and it comes with a pump. My color is 260 and I just feel like it was hydrating it's flawless it feels nice on the skin it didn't break me out again my skin is super sensitive and I really really enjoyed this foundation last is the new Pat McGrath foundation this is the skin fetish sublime perfection foundation I did a whole video on this because it is crazy expensive I think this could be the most expensive foundation I own and so I wanted to review this because I was like why like why like is it good does it like make my skin perfect? Does it pay my taxes? Like what is this? And to be honest with you, I love it. And I hate to say that I love it because it's so expensive, but when it comes to foundation and skincare, I won't skimp. Like I will pay a high price for those products because skin is everything to me. It is so beautiful. It's so thin. This you can definitely build up to medium coverage, but it is a very like let your skin breathe. It has a lot more coverage than the Glossier Skin Tint. And this is something that just, wow, all summer long, like it just had me feeling some type of way. I used it with a beauty blender and with a stippling brush. It was gorgeous with both. And I'm gonna show you what I really love mixing this with because it's another one of my favorites. Bare Glow Illuminating Moisture Balm from Bobbi Brown. Oh my gosh. This mixed with any foundation is insane. Your skin glows from the inside out. Now you can apply this by itself to the skin and apply foundation afterwards, but oh my gosh. Let me tell you, putting this in your foundation will change your life. It's really cool packaging too, like you twist it and it has a little pump. I thought that was really cool. 
A lot of my favorite products are really dirty, so I'm sorry I didn't clean them before, but this product I feel like is so underrated. If you use this in your foundation, it makes your skin look like glass. Next we have concealer. I have three concealers to show you guys. This was my number one concealer last year, so I'm gonna mention it very quickly. The Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Even as a foundation, there were so many times I didn't want to wear anything on my skin and I would start like spot concealing like redness and then I ended up using it all over my skin and I'm obsessed with it. This I think is the best concealer on the market hands down. It is amazing. I loved it last year, love it this year. It's so good. For my high-end concealer this year, new favorite is by Benefit. This is the Boing Cakeless Concealer. It took me a minute to get on this. I got it and I just, I don't know why I didn't pick it up. And once I started using this, oh, it's so good. This one is a little bit thicker. It's a little bit more dense. Like it's a little bit more, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. But this concealer does not crease very similar to Too Faced. If you have lines, like I have lines under my eyes, they still crease. Um, if you bake it with a powder, you'll be fine. But I notice whenever I'm using concealers, when I'm first testing them out, I like to let them sit on the skin a little bit and see how badly they crease until I set them. And with this one, it's just so good. It doesn't make your under eyes look dry or cakey. My drugstore favorite was hands down the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. This, I'm running out of it so fast. It's so good. I wish the applicator was a little bit bigger. It's a little doe foot. It looks so beautiful on the skin. And this was another one that sometimes you're gonna, you're gonna like scream right now. I didn't always set it. And you're probably like, Amanda, why would you not set your concealer? I know, I know, I know. There were some days where I was in a really big hurry and I was just going to run errands and I felt like my under eyes looked terrible and dark. So I would apply a little bit of this with a brush and blend it out and it didn't crease. Next up is bronzer. And for my bronzer, I was so bored for a long time. I feel like there aren't a lot of bronzing type products on the market that I'm just obsessed over the moon for. I usually use a translucent powder that's darker or a face powder that's darker, but this year I really love this Fenty bronzer. This is an Island Ting. And I did try another one of the shades. Maybe it was private island or something like that. That one I didn't love as much. There's something about this particular shade. You can see how dirty it is. Um, there's something about this shade. It just looks so soft on the skin. It's one of those products where I feel like you can dig and dig and dig and it doesn't look muddy. I really don't like whenever a bronzer or a contour powder is so pigmented that it just sticks wherever you put it and it doesn't blend or you feel like you added too much. It's always annoying when you add too much bronzer and then you're trying to add like powder and take it off. It's annoying. This is a great skin product. I feel like it kind of acts like a translucent powder, but it's packed into a compact. It's really unique. I really love it. The packaging is cute too. Let's talk about blush. Oh, I love blush so, so much. Blush has been like... One of my favorite things to apply the last year. Oh my gosh. I feel like I started falling in love with blush in 2018. And then my love for blush just intensified this year. And I have two products to show you. The first one is from Glossier. And this is one of their cloud paints in the color Storm. This is my favorite from all of their colors. I'm wearing it today. And I don't even know if you can see it. I put on a lot. And I feel like it looks like a lot. And then on camera it's like... Where did it go? This is a cream product and I love it for not just blush, but also for my lips. There have been a lot of times I'll use a lip pencil and then apply it with my finger or a brush on my lips and it gives you this beautiful stain. It's one of those formulas where it looks really pigmented on the cheeks and then as soon as you blend it, it just blends in. I'm gonna put on a little on the back of my hand just to show you how much I love this product. So, okay, that looks like a lot, right? I'm just gonna take a sponge, but do you see how natural it gives you that beautiful flush? I mean, you can't really tell on my hand versus on my cheeks. Cream products and liquid blushes can be really intimidating. And whatever Glossier did in this formula, they did it so right. It's so easy to use and it's beautiful. This blush, you've probably seen me use so much and you're probably sick of it, but I love it so much. This is from Cover Effects. It's in the shade Warm Honey. And let me tell you, these blushes are so expensive, so I'm really sorry. They are expensive, but they come with two different blushes and they have so many beautiful colors. So this is what it looks like. I accidentally dug my nail into here the other day, but this is the blush. I also put this on over the Glossier Storm paint just for even more intensity. It's like 
the perfect everyday flush. I love this kind of color. This to me is the new hype. It's like that peachy brown, still rose color. It's so gorgeous and so flattering. I just couldn't see this not working on every skin tone. Let's get into some highlights. I have two highlighters and you know what? I wasn't really obsessed with any new pressed highlighters this year. Whenever I'm doing my glow, I always get so many questions, whether it's a photo or a video, it's like, what are you wearing? And I don't always have an answer because I mix like 30 powders. I mean, not 30. I'll mix like three different powders and a lot of my favorite pressed highlighters are things I've already mentioned, so I don't wanna bore you with them, but I did fall in love with loose highlighters. I love loose highlighters so much. The first one is from Artist Couture and this one is currently sold out. So I'm sorry, but I love it. This is in the shade Summer Haze. The thing I like about loose highlighters is that I think they're so natural on the skin. This is Summer Haze. With a powder highlight that's pressed, they often look super chalky and really foiled. You don't want it to look like a stamp of glow on your face. You want it to blend in with your skin. Like you want it to look like your skin's just glowing everywhere, at least for me. I do like it super bright, blinding from outer space, but I like the formula to be a little bit thinner. My other favorite is from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is in the shade Balm. Balm is a lot more gold, it's right here, than Summer Haze. So you see how like gorgeous and flat the formula is. It's very thin and I love how that looks on the cheeks. So these are my two favorite highlights this year. I wish I had more highlighters to show you because I'm all about the glow, but these were the only two this year that I was just like, these are it. When it comes to baking powder, I am tried and true Laura Mercier, love that powder. But there's another powder I also really liked this year and it is the Huda Beauty Powder. This is the banana bread shade, but Recently, within the last couple of months, I have been using this powder so much. Now, I'm not crazy about the scent. I don't like complexion products to be too scented. I think it's just a lot. It has a very perfumey scent, but the formula is oh, incredible. When I'm baking, I want that five-star meal, and that's what I feel like this gives me. It's so good, it's so nice, and it's actually surprisingly hydrating for a powder. Setting spray is the Versali 24K. First of all, it is gorgeous. Second of all, it smells so good. It's like so citrusy. Let's just, I'm gonna spray it on my chest just because I wanna like glow a little bit, you know? I already sprayed a lot on my face, but I guess I could spray some more, why not? Just because, ooh, it smells good, it looks good, it makes all of your makeup just come together. I prefer to use a skin mist versus a setting spray that has alcohol in it. If there's any powder or any product sitting on the skin, this will just make it melt. It just becomes one with your face. Let's talk brows. I love big brows and I cannot lie. A Glossier Boy Brow, oh my gosh, changed my life. Changed my life and I've heard a lot of amazing things about this product. I wish that the, the name didn't rub off, but the name has rubbed off. This is the black shade. I have the black, I also have the dark brown. I love this because it adds a texture to your brow while also holding them in place. In the past, I'm full makeup or no makeup. There's no in between with me. And this year, I started doing like little things like this brow gel or a little bit of concealer under my eyes just to feel like a little bit cuter when I don't have time to do any makeup at all or I just don't feel like doing makeup. And this takes no time at all. You literally just, you know, take it out Here's a little thing, brush it through and you're good to go. Brow pencil of the year goes to Benefit, the brow styler. Oh, I love this product, it's so good. This is a two-in-one product. You have an angled little guy right here and then you have this pigmented powder formula. With this product, I do have to carry a spoolie with me because I like to blend my brows while I'm filling them in just to like make it look more natural. So I do have to carry one because this doesn't have a spoolie. I mean, I don't know where they would put it, but I love this pencil. I've used angled brow pencils in the past and they were good, but there's just something about this one. It self sharpens because of the way that it's made. So I never feel like it's too like, out of shape, if that makes sense. My go-to used to be the Precisely My Brow, and since this came out in September, I haven't been using anything except for this. Let's talk lashes. Right now, I have lash extensions, so I'm not wearing anything that I'm mentioning, but lashes just make the biggest difference. It makes me from like little boy to prom queen and like, 30 seconds when I put them on. So number one, these are drugstore lashes. I did a campaign with this brand a few months ago and I fell in love with the product. That's why I ended up working with them because I was so impressed. A lot of brands are coming out with magnetic lashes, but these are different. 
these do not have two lashes that stick together. It is the lash that sticks to the liner. These are from Ilor, and you can find them at Target and Ulta. And this is not sponsored, by the way. So all you do is you apply the liquid liner. So if you don't want a cat eye, it's fine. You can just apply the liner on the lash line and you apply three coats, make sure each coat dries and you put the lash and it just sticks to the liner. It is the craziest, coolest magic I've ever seen. And the lashes feel like you don't have anything on. I've tried other ones that were good but it took a little bit of practice with these the only thing you have to make sure of is that you put enough liner and you let it dry completely and besides that you're good like on the first try I got it like there was no practice involved so I think these are amazing I also saw they blew up on TikTok because a lot of people were buying them and trying them um these ones I don't remember what the name of these ones are because I've already opened all of the ones I have and I've been wearing them I have my favorite styles down below with a link where you can check it out um but they're so good I love them New Bouncem is one of my favorite lash brands the Dragon Lees the Bellas they're so good they came out with Bella Bay and these are so cute I got a new pair for you guys so they look really cute and not like janky like the ones that I use but this is what they look like so the Bella is one of their most popular styles I feel like they're always sold out they're really really dramatic I love them these are Bella Bays so they're really dramatic but shorter my other favorite are from Lily Lashes I probably mentioned Lily Lashes last year because it's another one of my favorite brands and these are Miami's Oh my gosh, I love these lashes. Again, a new pair so you can get the full vibe. I've tried lashes that look good on a lot of people with gaps and I put them on and I look crazy. Like, it does not look cute on me. And these lashes actually look really good on me with liner, without liner, with a smoky eye. They are so beautiful and so fluffy and they're really thin so they're not heavy. I love that lily and new bounce them i have coupon codes for both if you guys want to save a little money feel free to use it it's just amanda again i'll have everything linked down below but these are my favorite strip lashes of the year for eyeshadow i decided to pick a brand this year instead of picking a palette i have a lot of palettes that i liked but there was nothing that i'm just like this is my palette every single day it's hard for me i'm not really loyal to eyeshadow palettes so if i am loyal to something and i let you guys know know that it's a real one but i decided to pick a brand because i feel like ColourPop killed it with eyeshadow palettes this year so i just picked out two to show you we have the bare necessities which is a newer palette and i have used this before in a video it's so beautiful and then this one i haven't even used but it's gorgeous and i love their formula this is good as gold with a butterfly it's so beautiful i think that ColourPop just deserves the eyeshadow palette of the year award it is time for my favorite category which is lips i hope you said lips i really didn't have liquid lips that i was obsessed with in 2019 I guess we'll have to wait for this year. Products are everything to me. It is my favorite part about doing my makeup is lips. Whether I wear a different shade of nude every day or purple or black or red, I love lipstick, liquid lip, lip gloss, lip pencil, lip balms, lip everything. There wasn't a lot of things that just blew me away in the lip category this year. So I am gonna show you what I did love. Now, the first thing that I loved were lip pencils. I have loved lip pencils for a very long time. And I feel like lip pencils can be very underrated. I don't care if you have the most perfect juicy lips, a lip pencil will change the way your lips look. It is contouring for your lips and I have to do it. The first one is from ColourPop and it is the shade Beeper. This is Beeper, it is gorgeous. It's what I have on my lips right now. I did a TikTok that blew up. I think it almost has a million views now. And this is the lip pencil that I was using. I had a lot of questions on it. I love it. It's this beautiful rosy mauve color. Um, I also have Conspiracy from Urban Decay. Urban Decay lip pencil formulas are really beautiful. This is more of a cocoa color. So this one is more like if I want to really contour the lips and do a nude in the middle, I think this shade is gorge. And then I also have one from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is in the shade... I think this is Leo. I'm pretty sure this is Leo. I love the detailed tooling on the cap. I think it's really pretty and very unique. So this one I'm going to try to swatch. I need to sharpen it. But this one is very similar to the Urban Decay one. It's just a little bit lighter. After I contour the lips, I will go in with a liquid lip, a lip gloss, maybe both, or a lipstick. So I am going to show you two lipsticks that I have. This color is Baby's All Right. It's what I have on right now. And all I did is just dab it in the center. On my skin, it looks more peachy, but on the lips, it transforms because of the lip pencil to like my perfect rosy nude shade and then my other favorite has been stripped and this one is a nude color it's got a little bit of peach in it but 
it's still on the neutral side. It's not too peach, like a peach stock. So that's this shade right here. This is a hidden gem. This is from Dior. This is their Lip Tattoo Longwear Color Tint, and this is the color 771. I really wish they would use like cute little names. They're always numbers and they're hard for me to remember. The way I wear this is after my lip pencil, I will dot it on my lips and use my finger. And it gives you this gorgeous stained lip. I just feel very like, it's very youthful. I'm sure you could also use this on the cheeks as a stain, but this is what it looks like. I'm gonna like dot it on my hand because you're gonna be like, wait, what? Okay, it's pretty dark, right? I will just like dab it out on my lips. Oh my gosh, it is the most beautiful color. My last product is the lip gloss of the year and it is by Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath is also a higher end brand, but it is very much a luxury brand. Like when I have Pat McGrath products, I feel like on another level. When it comes to makeup, price does not matter. Price does not dictate how good the product is. But when it comes to Pat McGrath, they are pricey. But everything that I've recommended from her line, I think is spectacular. This color is my favorite. It's called Faux Real. And it's this nude pink shade. And it has like these little specks of shimmer in it. This is what it looks like. I'm going to swatch it on my hand for you. Oh, it's so creamy. And it has like a very light vanilla scent. Nothing too much. Here it is. When it comes to glosses, I love scented gloss. I really don't mind it. Um, but vanilla is always a safe bet. Last category we have is skincare. I'm obsessed with skincare and I definitely want to do more skincare videos this year because I have two skincare fridges in my bathroom. That's how obsessed with skincare that I am. First product is from Drunk Elephant. This is the De Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops with Cocoa Extract and Poit Poit can't talk platinum peptides. This is a little bronzing lotion, I would say, but it has anti-pollution properties in it and it's actually good for your skin. I put this on after my moisturizer to give my skin a tint and to help with anti-pollution and all the good things that's in it, but mainly because it gives my skin a little bit of life and a little bit of color. I don't wear makeup on a daily basis and I feel like sometimes my skin just looks so like light compared to my body and I'm just like I don't want to wear foundation because I'm not wearing makeup but I want my skin to have like some color and this is perfect for that you can definitely mix it in with your moisturizer this product has been something I never knew I needed in my life until I tried it out and now I can't go without it this year I really fell in love with sleeping masks which to me is another name for a crazy intense moisturizer that is going to soak in to your face all night this is from glow recipe it's the avocado melt sleeping mask it is so freaking cute oh it smells so so good. It doesn't smell like avocado. I love avocado, but I don't want to be smelling like it on my face. I'm like two thirds of the way done, but it comes with a lot. Like this is a big, deep jar. Everything good that I have, Raphael like becomes obsessed with it too and starts using it. And I'm like, get your own stuff. This is my stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm running out of it a lot faster because a little bit goes a long way. It's like a really rich, hydrating, buttery, moisturizer it's so good and i love it so this would go for my moisturizer of the year now when it comes to eye cream this is an oldie but a favorite i don't know if i've mentioned this in a favorites or not i just got a new one and i'm literally wow i'm like halfway done with it so this is from tatcha this is the luminous deep hydrating firming eye serum this is just like a spa in a little tube it has a little slanted so you can just Go underneath your eyes like this and it is so cold when you put it on i don't know if that excites anyone but whenever you put on the eye cream it's cold it's like oh it's so good i keep it in my skincare fridge i'm just thinking about oh i got chill bumps i'm just thinking about putting this on after i take off my makeup and i'm really excited and when it comes to skincare i will invest in expensive skincare now there are some expensive skincare brands that i think are just expensive for no reason but these products have really great ingredients in them again Raphael is using this as well so i'm gonna run out of it faster if you're just using it on your own but i really love this eye cream let me encourage you to get an eye cream whether it's this or anything else under eyes are the only part of your face that doesn't perspire like there's no oils coming out from under your eyes so you need to hydrate them so they stay firm and youthful looking for longer another thing i started doing a lot this year was masking i could literally do a whole video just on face masks because i have so many 
that I love for different purposes. But my favorite one, hands down, the last couple years actually has been the Fresh Umbrian Clay Mask. This is a hydrating clay, and you're probably like, what does that even mean? I mean that it doesn't feel harsh and abrasive and dry on my skin. This one is very, very gentle and very soft, and not only does it dry out like any blemishes, but it also just revitalizes my skin. This has been one of my go-tos. I've used it for years, and don't sleep on it. If you have breakouts or you need to revitalize your face, this will do the trick. Let's talk lip balm. We got skincare for your lips. I am a lip balm fanatic. I have to have at least two lip balms in my bag at all times. I actually have a fear of having dry lips in public and not being able to put lip balm on because I hate the way dry lips feel. It's literally the worst thing ever. Fenty Pro Kisser Lip Balm. This is called Hint Hint Luscious Lip Balm. When I first got it, I didn't love it. I'm gonna be real. I was like, uh, I don't know. It's kind of expensive. I feel like it's not thick enough. I just wasn't a fan. So I kept this in my bag because it's just so convenient. Like you don't have to dip your finger into it. It has a little doe foot. I fell in love. I feel like I'm out of it. I don't know. Every time I reach into it, I'm like, there's going to be nothing this time. And there's always something in here. Um, I love the scent. It's again, light vanilla, very like light and airy. And I really love this lip balm. It's thin. It's not extremely hydrating and thick, like an overnight balm, but it's great when you're on the go. It just provides a nice coating over your lips and it hydrates them and protects them. When it comes to hydrating, my favorite one is from Tatcha. This is the Camellia, Cam Camellia, I hope I'm not saying it right, Gold Spun Lip Balm. I don't know what it is with products that have gold in it, but it's just so fascinating and like it draws me in like a bug to a lamp. I'm just like, ooh, look at that. Oh, it smells so good, but it feels so soft and so like just kissable. It kind of gives you a lip gloss look, but not a lip gloss feel. And this is just another one of those feel good products. Like I like my lip products to just make me feel fabulous. And this is one of those, like every time I pull it out of my bag, I just feel like mm, I use it before night too and I wake up and my lips feel soft. All right, you guys, so that is all of my beauty favorites for 2019. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate as I drop my, I'm always dropping makeup. I need a blooper reel of all the makeup I drop when I film. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so excited for 2020. Like, I really think that this is going to be a year that brings so much joy and fulfillment and happiness and love and I'm just really excited. Last year I did a little Instagram video if you didn't see it on recapping my year. But um, last year I got to travel a lot and do fun things but at the same time last year was the most <laughs> taxing year of my life emotionally and mentally. It was very difficult for me. This year I wanna be more vulnerable with you guys and just share more real stuff. I know I say that a lot. Um, it's easier said than done, I'm working on it. I think it's really hard when you have a lot of people watching you especially like in the culture we live in now is very quick to judge. And um, yeah, I just wanna like say screw it and just do what I wanna do. And if people don't like me, it's fine, you know? So I'm really excited for this year. I can't wait to create a ton of content for you guys. A lot of things are changing and happening in my life this year. And I feel like the last half year or so has been very like stagnant for me. I haven't had a lot of things that I could talk about. I wanna say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for following me and supporting me and sticking around through my journey the last couple of years. I love you guys so much. I'm so thankful for you. And I just can't wait for this year. It's gonna be our year, I know it. Stay tuned for my next video. It's going to be a week in my life. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>